Tottenham Hotspur scored four goals against fellow top four contenders, Newcastle United, with Richarlison netting twice. Let's have a look at five key points from Spurs' performance. It may seem odd, but the key distinction between the five games where we lost points and versus Newcastle is that we capitalized on our opportunities in the first half. In matches against West Ham, Aston Villa, Wolves and Chelsea, Spurs performed impressively, especially in the initial stages. Nevertheless, in each of those games, they took a 1-0 lead and faced difficulty securing a second goal. This time, we managed to secure a comfortable lead before our opponents could make a comeback. Tottenham generated 4.16 xG against Newcastle United, the most Newcastle have allowed to an opponent in the Premier League this season. Coming into the fixture, no other side gained more than 3.6 xG in a single fixture against the Magpies this season in the league. The Brazilian showed impressive effort tirelessly winning the ball and contributing to the team's play. His unselfish pressing not only engages teammates but also leads to dangerous situations, even if he doesn't always score. Speaking of goals, this game was crucial for Richarlison. Scoring two with his feet, it's worth noting that he hasn't scored a single goal with his boot before tonight. Ant Pascoglu would also praise the Brazilian for his excellent performance. Richarlison was important to us at the start of the year too, but he wasn't fully fit. Since he's come back, it's fair to say he feels a lot better physically, and I think that's helped him mentally as well. Great for him to get two goals, but it wasn't just his goals, it was his general work rate, energy and physicality. It seems like every time Postecoglou discovers a solution on how to fit the available players into the system, injuries force him to rearrange things. Let's hope that doesn't happen again, because the front four were outstanding. Hunmin Son shifted back to his familiar position on the left, where he initially made a name for himself at Spurs. He looked threatening, delivering driven balls across the goal. Two assists from the left wing, what more could you ask for? Richarlison appeared more confident as a central striker. Brennan Johnson had his best ever game on the right, and Dejan Kulusevski thrived in the middle. This should be the lineup until James Madison returns. Really enjoying Dan Kulishevsky in midfield, his work rate is more than up to par to play there. He also seems to be more impactful in an attacking sense from that position right now. Now we can't be certain since Madison is injured, but Tottenham earned their first penalty of the season, and Hernmin Son took the responsibility. What's noteworthy? is that it was the first penalty since Hurricane departed the club, and those are some significant shoes to fill. Despite not having the best career penalty record, Son confidently struck it into the bottom corner. Spurs fans may now have an idea of their next regular penalty taker. Pedro Porro is in fantastic form. Not only he had notably improved his one-on-one -on -one defending, but the Spaniard seems tailor-made for the inverted fullback role. The turns he executes in tight spaces are captivating to watch, and he always appears to be aware of the opponent's positions and available space. Let's not forget about his delivery. That magical right foot has been finding its targets consistently for weeks. First a corner that set up Romero, then a delightful chip over the top to Richarlison. This person did have a special player on their hands.